Can you do adding and subtracting fractions? I don't get it. Yes, let me show you. I'm gonna use Bad Bunny again. So let's say Benito and his girlfriend Gabby wanted to make pasta. The first ingredient was garlic. If Benito prepared a two-thirds cup of chopped garlic and Gabby prepared one-fourth cup, how much garlic did they prepare in total? If you ask me, you can never use too much garlic. The last sentence tells us what we need to do because it says, how much garlic did they prepare in total, which means we need to add these two fractions. Benito prepared a two-thirds cup of garlic and Gabby prepared one-fourth cup of garlic. Notice how these denominators are not the same. So let's think about the least common multiple that would be for three and four, and that's going to be 12. So we're gonna create equivalent fractions with a denominator of 12. To make the first fraction have a denominator of 12, we had to multiply by four. Three times four is 12, so we must do the same to the numerator. Two times four is eight. Same thing to the second fraction. To get from four to 12, we had to multiply by three, so we must multiply by three to the numerator as well. One times three is three. And now that they're the same, we can add the numerators together. Eight plus three is 11. And then you copy the denominator, 12. So Benito and Gabby prepared 11 twelfths cup of garlic.